Hi friends, Father Scott again. In our first reading for today, we hear how the disciples of Jesus were arrested and were thrown into prison. But in the night, an, an angel comes and saves them from the prison and brings them out. That would have been my cue to head to the head for the hills. I, uh, once I got free of that prison, I might have said, all right, so long, you're on your own. But that's not why they were set free. The angel who brings them out tells them now, go and take your place in the temple and proclaim to the people this new life. Go back to what you were given to do. Go back to your mission in life, which is to proclaim new life. And what is that proclamation? We see it in our gospel reading. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. This message, our mission, is the mission of proclaiming the love of God. A love so deep that he sent his only Son, that the life and death and resurrection of Jesus was for us. That's the message that we have to proclaim. And we have to take our place in the public square and proclaim that message no matter what. You know, each of us has been set free by God also. Each of us has been set free from our separation from God, who is the source of our life. Each of us has been set free by the forgiveness of our sins from the alienation that comes between people as well as between us and God. That is uh, the chief symptom of sin. That's what the disease of sin does to us. It separates us from God and from each other. But God sent his son into the world, not to proclaim judgment, but to bring healing. He does proclaim judgment on a, on a world that uh, refuses to receive healing from God. But his purpose in coming was for healing. And our purpose in life now, now that we belong to him, is to proclaim that healing to the world. Brothers and sisters, let us never forget that we have been healed so that we can bring healing to others. We have received new life so that we can share that new life with others by our acts of love towards them and by the proclamation of the great love that God has for them. Because ultimately, that is the source of life. That is, he is the one uh, that will uh, bring all things together in himself and make all things new. So let us remember to thank God for the freedom that we have now experienced and the healing that we have now received. And let us never let anything stand between us and, the, and our mission to go and take our place in the world and proclaim the new life that God has, has given us. God bless you, and I'll be talking to you again soon.